Hello beautiful people of the world, what is up? Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel, but probably welcome. Today's video is on overcoming insecurities. We all have them. Don't hate on someone else for having insecurities. If someone hates on you for their insecurities, tell them bye. But anyway, <laughs> we are going to overcome our insecurities today. I'm aware I look like Cindy Lou Who. Get over it. These are in no particular order, but we're gonna start number one. The way I look at things may be a lot different than other people. I really put myself in other people's shoes when it comes to how they think about me. When people judge me or say something about me, or I just am trying to figure out what they think about me, I really do know this number one thing and you put yourself in the other person's shoes and you look at that person as if they are you. I say this because not everyone is gonna understand your problems, not everyone's gonna understand what you're going through, but I feel like if you can put yourself in someone else's shoes and realize that they don't realize <laughs> what you're going through, does that make sense? It's a lot easier for you to say, hey, it's okay that I'm insecure about this because really they probably think it's okay and they're insecure about something else themselves. Everyone else is also insecure about something Thing. And if they say they're not, they're lying. Unfortunately, we degrade ourselves and that sucks, which is what I'm trying to do the opposite of here because you're beautiful. <laughs> There's a lot of things that I'm staring at my face right now that I don't like about it and you guys may not see anything wrong or maybe you do, but you really just have to put yourself in someone else's shoes and understand that not everyone is going to understand what you've gone through how you feel about yourself or why you feel that way about yourself. If you can put yourself in someone else's shoes, almost pretend to be them. Say you're meeting someone for the first time and you're really scared they're gonna judge you. Well, just pretend when you meet them that like you're meeting yourself. You're the most comfortable around yourself. Does that make sense? Easier said than done, sure, but just try. All I'm saying is try. So the second thing, if someone likes you, who you are as a person, as a friend, they're gonna like your weird, quirky ways. They're your friend for a reason. They don't care about the weird twitches that you randomly do. They don't care about the weird faces that you're trying to make. If your friends start judging you for the weird, quirky things that you're doing, then they're not really your friends. Quit questioning whether they like you or not, or whether they think you're weird or not, because it doesn't matter. If they do think you're weird, you're doing something right, <laughs> okay? You're being yourself, and that's good. And they'll accept you for who you are, and they'll respect you for being yourself. This is something I kind of mentioned in my last video, but I'm gonna restate it because it's relevant. You have to accept that not everyone's gonna like you. I think my last video I said like, three out of 10 people might hate you, but seven out of 10 people will love you. And that's the truth. You're just gonna have to accept that people are gonna hate you. And there's no way around that. There is no way around that. I know you wanna fight it. That makes you feel even more nervous. But once you just accept that, accept the fact that not everyone's gonna love you, things get so much easier. That seems weird, but when you stop caring about the haters and what everyone's thinking, you can move on and pay attention to the ones who do like you. There you go, does that make sense? <laughs> so I kind of mentioned this in the first point that I had. Having an open awareness and an understanding of other people, what they might be thinking and what they might be feeling because they could be feeling just as insecure as you, probably focus more on their problems, but also understand that they might not understand what you're going through. And I think that's a big thing because a lot of the time I feel like we're telling people who don't have anxiety, people who don't have anything, we're telling them and bringing awareness to them saying, hey, like be patient with these people or telling people who don't have anxiety or anything that these people who do are normal and just like you and everything's fine. But I also think there's a point where we have to say they don't understand us, so we should probably be patient with them. I've had times where I'll get so mad at people for not understanding what I'm going through and for them being rude to me when really they just don't understand what I'm going through and they don't know how to deal with it. Understanding others aren't going to completely understand you is so important because then it's kind of almost like self-reflecting. You can take a step back and say, hey, 
they're not understanding why I'm upset right now or why I'm anxious right now. It's not their fault though. Why are you concerned about it if they're probably not? Understand, they don't understand why you have so many insecurities. This kind of leads into another point. Talking or not talking to the right people about your insecurities. There are certain people that if they don't understand anxiety or the things that you go through, probably not the person to talk to it about with. So it's understanding and having an awareness of who that person is is where they come from, why they are the way they are, and deciding whether or not you can talk to them about certain things. The next point I want to make is to remind yourself whether it's just thinking it and telling yourself, whether it's actually saying it out loud and telling yourself, or whether it's literally looking in the mirror and telling yourself. On days that you feel weird or embarrassed or stupid, you should just get up, go to the mirror, and just be like, hey, you're beautiful, you're fucking weird, accept it, because you're fucking awesome. Weird, quirky things are what make people who they are. It makes them unique and different, and that's what people like. If you're just gonna sit there and try and act like other people, there's gonna be nothing unique about you and no one's gonna be attracted to that. Friend or more than a friend. Be your fucking self, be your weird quirky self, and tell yourself every day, if you're feeling weird or embarrassed or stupid, tell yourself that it is a good thing. If you're feeling weird, look in the mirror and just be like, Hell yeah, I'm feeling weird, I'm pretty stupid, but that's okay. Because <laughs> if you're being yourself and you're expressing yourself, that's all there is to it. That's all that matters. Just being yourself is all that matters. This is my last little tip here, and I feel like it's very important. I feel like I always have a lot of good ideas. I have a lot of videos on my computer that are recorded that are just sitting there because I thought people would think it's stupid or that I was the only one that thinks it's a good idea. Listen, if you think it's a good idea, it's probably a good idea and somebody else is gonna like that. Do you know how many people there are in this world? Someone is going to have the same idea as you. Someone is going to have the same thought process of you. I have a friend who has a very similar thought process of me and that is why we're best friends. You're not alone. If you think it's a good idea, but you're nervous that someone thinks it's gonna be weird, just put it out because odds are someone's gonna love it. If you think it's a good idea, someone else probably does too, and I think that's such an important thing to remember. When it comes to overcoming your insecurities, a lot of your anxiety in general, I feel that you have to do a lot of self-reflecting and a lot of self-understanding. You need to do a mental workout, okay? Really, really take in and think about and accept the fact that there's weird things about you that you don't like, but there are also weird things about other people that they don't like and that they probably struggle with every single day, just like you. If there's something about yourself you don't like, change it or accept it. That's all I can say. And understand that everyone else is going through it just like you. So try not to feel weird around people. Try not to feel scared and nervous around people because odds are they're feeling the exact same way. I'm gonna go now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you don't remember anything I said in this video, if you didn't even make it this far, wow, I'm not surprised. If you did make it this far and if you don't remember anything from this video, the biggest thing I want you to remember, acceptance, awareness, understanding. Accept that there are some things about yourself that you can't change. Understand that not everyone is gonna understand why you're having these insecurities and be aware that they are probably having the same insecurities that you are. Could be the exact same thing. You might not like your nose and probably odds are someone else doesn't like their nose too. And also with acceptance, learn to love yourself and learn to like those things about you that make you different. Those things that make you different are the things that people actually like about you and find attractive about you. I hope you guys took something from this video. Let me know if there's anything that you do that helps you with your insecurities. Leave a comment of anything else if you would like. Give this video a like if you liked it. Give this little video a like if you did not like it. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one. So, fail well.